Good morning. Good morning. All right, that's better. Um, I just want to thank you all for coming uh, uh, to this gathering and also to our great city. Uh, because, uh, and I know the mayor is going to say something about this, but uh, uh, welcome to the greatest city in America. We have uh, a lot of great things uh, uh, in this city going on, and one of them, one of them uh, is our food, is really uh, building our food system here. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time uh, talking uh, because this is not my conference. It's not Growing Power's conference. It's all of our conference. Uh, the one goal that I want uh, to see happen uh, here over the next three days is that uh, you all get inspired because in 2010 when we uh, were in another building just right up the street here uh, at the end of the conference at the closing I asked all of you who were here to go back to your communities and go to work not go back and just sit around at a table and talk about how are you going to build a food system but go back and, and start doing something, regardless of how small it is, to help build the food systems in your community to make sure that they're culturally appropriate, that we're building a local food system that will change the dynamics of your community in, in so many different ways. In a way that will make people healthier, that will improve the environment, that will create jobs, and boy, did you all do it. As I travel around the country, and I, I've traveled a lot, uh, and limped around with my uh, knee and hip replacements, but I, I, you know, I've seen the change in the last two years. I've seen the revolution grow uh, far beyond my expectations, far beyond um, growing power's expectations. So you all went back and you really went to work. So we said that we would do this in two years, and here we are. We're back here, two years later. You all came back to the office. So this, this weekend, over the next three days, one of the charges I give you all is to get to know people. We're all in the one building. You know, it's a big building, but we're under one tent. And it's going to give us an opportunity with all the activities, all the breakout sessions, to really get to know each other and build relationships that will lead to partnerships because we cannot do this in a vacuum. We cannot build our food systems, individual organizations. We have to work together with everybody in our community. And that's why we have these 17 tracks. Tracks like a medical track. Because now, Hospitals and doctors and nurses and dietitians uh, have joined the Good Food Revolution. And, they, and, it, and it's very important. Integrated medicine. You'll, you'll see a panel with doctors and, and dietitians and so forth uh, later. And they'll talk about what they're doing, how they've connected with farmers and farm groups and other people in their community to really get involved in preventative medicine because we know we have unsustainable health system and the only way to, to fix that is by them going out in the community and doing what doctors should have been doing all along. So that, that's going to be very important. And the planners that are here and the environmentalists that are here and the policy people, their policy tracks, their uh, uh, tracks with uh, politicians with corporate companies that are here. Everybody's got to be at the same table. We need everybody at the same table working together. No longer can we just say, we don't want this group at the table, we don't want that group at the table, because we have a severe situation in this country where we don't have enough good food, and people are still getting sick, and people are don't have adequate food. One out of three children tonight will go to bed without a meal. So we have to fix that. We have no choice. It's about our survival. And the only way we're going to fix it is work together and do the work from the grassroots. But now we have these top-down operators that have joined the revolution. And that's good. 
because they have such strong value too, and they want to be a part of it. So that's what this is all about, getting together, getting us re-energized so we can go back out in our communities and continue to do the work and scale up. There's so much vacant land and so many vacant buildings and so many possibilities to be able to grow food and fish and uh, vacant buildings and to grow uh, farms on asphalt and on concrete. And when you go on their tours, you'll see that. We have to quantify things because we have all these young people. This is dominated now by not people my age, but by the under 40 group. And we have to prove that the, you can make a living, you can make a sustainable living at, with a local food system. That's what we have to quantify. We have to figure out how many fish do we need to raise to produce a $50,000 a year job. We need to prove how many hoop houses do we have to put up to grow food year round. So a lot of the work that Growing Power is doing is to help build the food system in our community, in southeast Wisconsin and Milwaukee, but to also quantify a lot of things, working with groups like the Great Lakes Institute and be powered by companies like Nature's Path and Coles Corporation who help uh, with funding and are very much involved and want, and, and want to make sure that their employees live a sustainable life. And we're, and we're very fortunate here in Milwaukee because we have the political folks that, have, that, are, on, that are on our team. The mayor, Willie Hines, is a leader of the Common Council who uh, has been very supportive of what we've been doing for years. So we need to pass on some of that to other cities so we can get those politicos on our team. So again, I want to welcome you all. Uh, I could stand up here and talk about this all day, but we're going to have, you're going to hear from so many different people. Uh, enjoy yourself while you're here. Uh, the food is, gonna, is local. A lot of it was produced by growing power in our 200 acres and other farmers from the region. So enjoy the food, enjoy the time, get to know each other, meet other people, uh, enjoy the music, enjoy the films, enjoy everything. Get out into the city. And I know the mayor's going to tell you to spend some money. When you go down into Milwaukee, spend some money, you know, to help us. But we feel that Milwaukee is on the track to becoming a sustainable community. And every community in America, and every community around the world, because this is a worldwide uh, dilemma that we have. It's not just in the U.S., but all over the country, all over the world, that we need to build sustainable communities in the villages, in the small towns that are suffering. So uh, get out and enjoy the city. Uh, enjoy uh, your time here if you need anything. We have a lot of staff. You'll see it. Uh, Growing Power has 140 employees now, so we have a lot of staff here. If you need anything, um, ask our staff. Enjoy the tours. Ask a lot of questions. If you see something, ask questions about it so we can answer those questions. So we want to leave, leave here very energized, have a lot of power to go back in our communities and, and build healthy, sustainable, culturally appropriate food systems, and everything that we do is really wrapped around social and food justice. If, if you're not doing something that's wrapped around that, it's not going to work, it's not going to sustain itself. So that's what this comes. You'll see a lot of breakout sessions around food justice with our, our uh, growing in food and justice uh, part of our organization and organizations around the country. So thank you very much and uh, just welcome.